I've been the same place you've been. I've been on the outside looking in at what happened, just like you guys have. We're all going to come up with conclusions, I think. They had a, they had an impact. It was a, it was a it was a crash, right? Um tempers tempers flared. You know, and you got you got to expect that, and we've seen it a million times. Hey, you know, I, I, don't, you know, I can relate to tempers. I can relate to that. I, 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 th- I think there's, it. I think there's fault here on both sides. Small lock, crowded mm-hmm. conditions, time, people wanting to get down. Mm-hmm. There's that time yeah, crunch. Yeah. Expert, a lot of pressure. Expert navigators are going to have trouble in that situation. Mm-hmm. The lock at Lake Toho, which is where this occurred, it's the lock that goes from Lake Toho uh, down, headed towards Lake Kissimmee. Uh, it's a relatively small lock, can handle about 50 or 60 boats. Nose to motor, you know, it's small. If you miss the lock, now you have to wait 20 or 30 minutes to catch the next one. I am surprised, based on what I've heard, that Keith didn't get a citation for the impact. So when I'm, I'm aling in, I'm getting fairly close, I shut the motor off. I get up and I, and I get in the back compartment behind my seat. I get my paper out to, to show the lock master. While all that's taking place, I miss I misjudged the momentum. I misjudged the, the, the momentum of, of what I was idling in, the wind, and the, and the little current. Because when when they open these locks, they open the locks to crack it and let the water go to fill up yeah. the, the lock to to, uh, to lock the other boat. Suction. So yeah. they they've cracked this lock, and you know of course there's water running in, and you know I just made a terrible mistake. I wasn't attending. The, the momentum of my boat once I, I had shut it off to get my paperwork. So by the time I got my paperwork, got on the front deck, put my trolling motor up, I mean, I'm within, you know, five feet or, or maybe a little more from, from Ish's boat. Get my trolling motor down, and I'm trying to stop it, which is just, just no no way to stop it. And, um, and then I, I struck him in the side, just kind of right like in the middle of the front deck area. Um, you know, just an unfortunate deal that uh, I made a bad judgment and, and I take blame for it. It did not damage the, the troll motor shaft at all. Um, I was not aware at the time if it, if it caused any damage to Isha's boat. And then the next thing I know, we're in a uh, the conversation, heated conversation that uh, ends up with him jumping in my boat and um, then pushing me overboard. So things that I said probably was unprofessional at the time, and I admit, um, you know, but that, that was the reasoning for them to, to disqualify me, qualify me through talking to witnesses and, and saying that, you know, I did come in there a little hot um, and, you know, I guess a few things that I said in, inappropriate. It's under investigation still. Uh, you know, I, I, I hope it's over with uh, for myself and, and for Ish. Yeah. You know, I, I like Ish. I think he's a great fisherman. I think he's a great guy. I think we just both, um, you know, got it, had an a unfortunate circumstance. Um, you know, he, he lost his cool, and I think anybody would lose their cool. It's just it's just part of being a competitor. We can relate to it from a lot of different perspectives. You know I can, for sure, Ish, right? And and Pete can, and he's had an incident, and Joe can. Pete? Come on now. Pete's Pete. never had an incident. No, 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 <laughs> Pete can. We're talking about Pete. If you want to learn more, if you want to get the ultimate experience in bass fishing, you need to be at Bass University. What? That, that's that's awesome, Ish. I appreciate you saying that. Now, after you have said that, I'm going to have to agree with you in the lock incident. You know, this was the spot where, for the first time, I really said to myself, professional fishing is something I want to try. You know, the start of my junior year here at Rowan, I fished an uh, event as an amateur. I fished a BP Top 150 Bassmaster Tournament as an amateur. And... Uh, That first tournament was an awesome, amazing experience. And I came back from that event with a new appreciation for what professional fishing was.